First 10,000 Days on Mars Human race has been looking forward to become a multi-planetary species as the technology has been advancing with time. Mars is one of the closest planets to Earth, which will be considered as primary candidate to be habituated by humans, before moving on to how human race will acclimatize to Mars in initial 10,000 days Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified about our upcoming videos. As you ponder upon the fact that why Mars is considered to be more favorable place for humans as compared to any other planet in the solar system, then the answer lies in the fact that day length on Mars is 24 hours and 37 minutes, which is approximately similar to that on Earth. This is due to nearly similar rotation speed of Earth and Mars. Along with this, Mars has nitrogen, CO2, and argon, due to which plants can be cultivated by compression of its atmosphere. Mars offers enough sunlight to harbor solar panels there for procuring energy for human needs to thrive over Martian surface. NASA claims rover weighing 1,025 kilograms, utilizing decaying plutonium as fuel, will be utilized for a landing on Mars. Elon Musk, who is CEO of SpaceX, has a goal to lay the foundation of semi-permanent human race colony on Mars. Starship spacecraft designed for transportation to Mars will be reusable and suitable for carrying both crew and cargo. Martian rovers will be landed on Erebus Monte, which is located among group of mountain in Dicrea Quadrangle. Possible places for settlement on surface of Red Planet include equatorial regions, lava tubes, Hellas Planitia, as these places constitute shelter from radiations and micrometeoroids. Geothermal energy is suspected to be present in equatorial region. Although the idea of colonization of the Red Planet is quite fascinating, unfortunately there is drastic change in temperature along with little amount of frozen water available only on poles and enormous dust storms which will make human life miserable if these problems are not catered to properly. So, initial steps for establishing a human colony on Martian surface revolved around establishment of favorable habitat on Mars. Before transporting humans to Mars, cargo will be fetched to Mars and unmanned starship will land on Mars and dispatch the life support system along with the power generating system to sustain human race. This equipment will constitute machines to manufacture fertilizer, water, and materials essential for production and cultivation of crops on the Red Planet. Human colonization on Mars will require artificial Mars habitats along with complex life support system. Extended period of flight from Earth to Mars and influence of Mars gravity will lead to decrease in the bone mineral density, consequently loss of strength. So in order to cater this obstacle, advanced resistive exercise devices will be utilized by astronauts. Thus, it helps them acclimatize the Martian atmosphere. A large glass dome protecting humans from hostile environment on Mars will be the initial step of colonization over Martian surface. As there is too much solar radiation and cosmic rays because of thin atmospheric layer, so humans will have to inhabit underground caves and lava tubes. Surprisingly, soil on Mars is perfect for formation of bricks, and NASA sorted it out that polymer plastic will be utilized with soil to form bricks to establish shelter for humans on Mars. Starship will utilize water ice in conjugation with CO2 from Red Planet atmosphere to refuel it for returning it back to Earth. Another option cited to provide sustainable source of water on Mars involves utilizing of ice from the poles over Martian surface and converting it to usable water. A likely source of water either frozen or otherwise obtained via drilling has been investigated by NASA. The Starship will land 30 astronauts and 10 starships along with necessary constitutes for colonization of Mars. It takes approximately 8 months or 240 days to travel to Mars when launched on specific time once every two years when Earth and Mars are aligned. As the atmosphere is quite thin on the Martian surface, so the temperature variation between day and night is 70 degrees, but this temperature fluctuation is markedly reduced during dust storm. Global dust storms appear to be common on Mars and cover the vast area and block sunlight. Experiments conducted in 2012 demonstrated lichens and cyanobacteria thrived in Mars Simulation Laboratory, MSL. 
depicting MARC photosynthesis capability and stimulated Martian climate. This was proposed that cyanobacteria would lead to manufacturing of food, oxygen, fuel, in addition to sustaining growth of various organisms and wide range of biological processes leading to concurrent energy production, which will provide sustainable energy resources and efficient storage system. Fuel or energy source will be excavated from carbon dioxide and oxygen engines manufactured by zirconium dioxide electrolysis from the Red Planet atmosphere without use of Martian water resources to obtain hydrogen for purpose of early surface transportation. Resources required for colonization on Mars include airlock for dust management and pressurization. Resources for evacuating supplies of water, oxygen, and later for other purposes like excavating minerals and building material will be procured from the Earth. So by 2029, food in the form of hydroponic crop will be cultivated and aquaponic greenhouses will be established sustaining human life to flourish on Mars. Michael Hecht is a scientist working at NASA who devised a machine named MOXIE. MOXIE is a reverse fuel cell which will operate by sucking carbon dioxide that makes up to 96% of Martian atmospheres. After processing it, will pumps out the oxygen that will be utilized by humans for respiration while inhabiting Mars. Off-planet communication equipment will be lodged to Martian atmosphere along with other equipment for moving over the red planet surface such as a Mars suit, crewed rovers, and probably even Mars aircraft. By the year 2035, the red planet will endure town-sized settlements of humans. Population will exceed more than 1,000 individuals, and the first Martian marriage will be rejoiced on the surface of a red planet. Space Concepts Laboratory of University of Strathclyde suggests relay architecture on non-Kepalarian orbits for communication purposes with the Earth. Orbit produced by low thrust propulsion produced by solar soil modifies trajectory of spacecraft, allowing uninterrupted communication through a relay spacecraft hovering over the surface of Mars. Path for colonization for humans on Red Planet will be paved by robotic systems such as Mars Exploration Rover Spirit, Curiosity, and Perseverance. These robotic systems will have advantage of reducing costs and will have no early political risk as compared to that of crew operation. Fast forward to the year 2040, Mars population will cross 3,000 and the first human on Mars will be born. Meanwhile, the embassy on Mars will be established and Mars political system will be flourished. Mars Earth trade will be favored by position of gravity well on solar system of Mars, leading to success of Mars colony settlement. It will take approximately 5,000 days to inaugurate first restaurant with bioprinted food, which will be functional for Martian habitats. As the life begins to thrive on the surface of the red planet, inhabitants are now habituated to Mars, the exploratory voyage and expedition will be endured to gain more information about Mars. These might include ascending up to climbs Olympus Mons by 2046, which is categorized as the tallest planetary mountain and two and a half times Mount Everest height above sea level. Slowly and gradually, school will be established and mass population will be inhabiting the surface of the red planet. After the year 2051, by the day 9,418, first human baby born on Mars will visit the Earth, which will be definitely a remarkable achievement, summing up the life of the first 10,000 days on Martian surface. The core process in this evolution of human race on Mars is to utilize the Martian environment, conjoined with technology over the surface of Mars providing for basic necessities. This is because it will be impossible to sustain a large human race on Mars by providing their for their needs from Earth. The proposed process is termed as molten regolith electrolysis, in which molten lunar regolith will be subjected to electrolysis to produce oxygen along with metals such as iron, etc. The metallic alloy generated from this process can be utilized for construction to establish colony on Mars, and oxygen produced simultaneously by this process will be harnessed for sustaining human on Martian surface. This will ultimately lead to successful establishment of human colony on the surface of the Red Planet. Local resources of Martian surface will be utilized for development of infrastructure on Mars. If this plan turns out to be successful, then Mars will be considered a secondary home for our generation. 
See you next time with another captivating video.